Hi and welcome to Our Flying Adventures. It's all about the journey. Today I'm going to do a quick video on hold entries. I was on one of the flying forums and a post was put up about how to enter a hold and I vaguely remember back when I first started doing my instrument training on the King course I think they had something about a pencil and we'll go take a peek at that but uh, I found the easiest way was to always just visualize it right on the approach plate. And my flight instructor at the time told me, you have all the tools you need, you got your thumb, you got the plate, it's always oriented north up. Let's take a look at how he, de how he described how to plot your entry. And I'll give a quick example because I was uh, flying home from Boston, I got a reroute, and then the last minute they told me expect to hold at P Fair, which is on the GPS 1-4 here in Ocean City. So we'll try and take a look at all of these things and hopefully just using the plate and your simple finger, we can figure out how to make this easy without all that extra work. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here we are on our flight plan from Laughlin to Salisbury. We're going to go ahead and put in the... Uh, RNAV GPS 1-4 and select P Fair into the uh, flight plan. There's P Fair. Okay, we're going to be heading from the north northwest, as you can see the uh, our flight plan with P Fair. Not sure what they were going to give us for the hold, but we'll assume published. We're going to have to go outbound four miles. And it's going to be a direct entry, outbound 325, turn back in on the 145, and we can either stay in the hold or head in on that 145 heading. Okay, we'll clear this out along with the flight plan, and now we'll head up northbound. So here we are coming from the south, again, same directions, expect to hold at P-Fair. Okay, from the south, it's going to be a parallel entry. Outbound on the 325, make the left hand turn in the pattern, we go out four miles, and then turn inbound for the 145. I like to do about a 30 degree cut, so say 115 till you intercept, and then you're inbound on 145. Now, that's unless you get another hold, another lap in the hold. It all depends what ATC is telling you at this point. Okay, let's clear this out and try another. Okay, this time we're going to come from the east down to coastline. ATC gives us expect hold at P-Fair, so we turn inbound direct P-Fair. And once again set up for a entry which will be parallel. Outbound 325, turn inbound, 30 degree cut, say 115 till we intercept, and then we head in on the 145. Now you can also still do laps in the hold here. Once you cross that fix and go back outbound for the four mile requirement. Okay, let's clear that off. Once again, we can come inbound from the east and we can do a teardrop entry. We can go outbound for one minute on a 300 degree heading, about a 30 degree cut, then turn inbound on the 145 degree heading. Now I didn't show the approach from the west. Again, it's just as easy. You can approach and make a direct entry or turn and do the parallel entry. Whatever suits your fancy, they're both going to get you there. Um, the thing is to keep it simple. You're not going to always have all these uh, uh, rulers or pencils and be having time to fudge with that when you're in the co cockpit in IFR conditions. You want to keep it as least amount of stress as possible. So keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Go ahead and follow uh, your instinct. Use the plate, the north up, and your finger. You can visualize it. Train yourself to visualize it. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, I remember it was crazy when I started. You know, you're drinking from the fire hose. You got to understand that part. But at some point, the light comes on and you're like, okay, I get all this. They rapid fire approach after approach just to bog you down, which really helps you train because when it's in real life and you're doing the one approach setup, it's a little bit easier and things will flow a little smoother. So stick with it if you're in training. 
if you're an IFR pilot, practice, practice. Um, currency is great for in the books, but proficiency will save your butt. And with that, I'll close this out. Hope it helped. Uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer as soon as I can. It's down and dirty. I just did it on the iPad and uh, not a fancy production, but just something to help you maybe get a little bit better idea. Okay. Thanks for watching.